cellular respiration, the process of extracting energy from glucose to make ATP the energy carrying molecule organisms need. The part of the cell that carries out cellular respiration is the mitochondria. It contains an outer membrane, an inner membrane, which is folded for more surface area, and the matrix, the space between the membranes that contains thick fluid. The first step before cellular respiration begins is glycolysis. This occurs in the cytoplasm, and glucose is broken down into two pyruvate molecules that then enter the mitochondria, as glucose is too big to enter the mitochondria. It also produces two ATP. Now enter the mitochondria and the Krebs cycle. This is located in the matrix of the mitochondria. It breaks down the pyruvate and with the six oxygen molecules, joins the oxygen and the carbon to make CO2 that is now released from the body. The hydrogen ion now enters the inner membrane on the NADH and FADH2 carrier molecule. The electron transport chain is located on the inner membrane of the mitochondria. The hydrogen ion pumps the electron transport chain. It creates 34 ATP and six water molecules are expelled. Cellular respiration chemical equation begins with the reactants, glucose and six oxygen. These enter the body by eating and breathing. They then go to the mitochondria where six CO2, six water and 34 ATP are created. If oxygen isn't present, the cell goes through fermentation and creates lactic acid that builds up in the muscle fibers of the organism. After glycolysis, the body must decide. If oxygen is present, aerobic respiration occurs. This is the Krebs cycle on the electron transport chain. But without oxygen, anaerobic respiration occurs. That's fermentation. This causes lactic acid to build up the muscles, causing them to be sore. EP, ATP totals. Aerobic respiration yields 36 to 38 ATP. 2 ATP from glycolysis, 2 ATP from the Krebs cycle, and 34 ATP from the electron transport chain. In turn, anaerobic respiration only yields 2 to 4 ATP. That's why our body prefers cellular respiration. Cellular respiration is an exothermic reaction as it releases the energy stored in the bonds of glucose. This occurs in all plants and animals and releases heat in the process. We are all done with our review on cellular respiration. I hope you learned something today.